Hello everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install two or more Kodi apps on Android TV, Google TV, or Amazon Fire Stick. Now you may want to do this if you want to test out a Kodi build or add-on without interfering with your main Kodi app. Or maybe you want to run one Kodi instance with the build and the other as lean and quick as possible with just a few add-ons. In this video, I'm using the On 4K Pro Android TV box, but the same process will work on any Android TV or Fire TV devices. First, you want to make sure that you already have the free downloader app installed. And you can get this through the Amazon App Store or Google Play. Just search for it and install it. Now, if you're using a Fire Stick, after installing Downloader and prior to opening it, you will want to first go into Settings, my Fire TV, Developer Options. Now, if Developer Options isn't showing in the list, go into About, highlight the name of your Fire TV device, and click it seven times. This will enable Developer Options. You're going to return to the previous menu, and you will see Developer Options in the list. Go into that and turn on Unknown Apps for Downloader. Now, if you're using an older Fire TV device, you're going to just have one toggle. Turn that on, and that covers all the apps on your Fire TV. Now, on Android TV, Google TV, we don't go into developer options. We're just going to go ahead and launch it. Now, the first time you open Downloader, you're going to see this. Go ahead and click the OK button. And also, when you launch this, depending on what device you're using, you may see an Allow or Deny button. Go ahead and click Allow. It's asking for access to your internal storage. Okay, I'm gonna hit the up button on my remote, put the cursor in the URL box, click the okay button, and I'm going to type in two, five, zero, nine, three, one. This will open the free Troy Point toolbox. I'm gonna hit the enter button. I'm gonna wait for the five second load screen. All right, if this is the first time landing on this page, I strongly suggest marking this as a favorite within the downloader application. And you can do that by holding down on the OK button of your remote for a few seconds. You'll see this menu, click Add Current Page to Favorites, Save, and now on the left side, under Favorites, you'll see Troy Point Toolbox. In the future, when you come in here, you can click that. Go right to the Troy Point Toolbox without waiting for the five second load screen that many times has advertisements. Before I move on to my next step, be sure to get my free Troy Point Supercharged Kodi Guide. Kodi doesn't do much without the popular third-party secret add-ons, and this free bonus guide will show you how to install the most popular add-ons in a few minutes. This guide is updated on a frequent basis to ensure you are getting the latest and greatest secret add-ons. To get my free guide, simply click the link in the video description or open the camera app on your phone or tablet, scan this QR code, input your email address, and the guide will be delivered to your inbox immediately. Okay, I'm going to scroll down on this page and I'm going to come to the latest version of Kodi. And you will see we are on 21.1. We will keep this updated and we will always have the most recent stable release at the top of this list. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the most recent stable release. Wait for the download to finish. Now, on this Android TV box, you're going to remember we didn't have to do anything with developer options earlier like we did on the Fire TV device, but we do need to do that now. So you're going to see here we have this dialog. You're going to want to go into settings. Now, this will only happen the first time you try to install something through Downloader, and then it will remember this from here on out. But you're going to want to go into settings, install unknown apps. You want to turn that on for the Downloader app. And then you're going to get this here. Go ahead and click the install button. Click done. Back button. And I'm going to delete the installation file. These are large files and there's no need to leave these on the device after you've installed the app. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. And now I'm going to install the most recent stable release of the Troy Point Cody Fork. And you'll see this one is also 21.1. And again, when the new releases of Cody come out, we will update those as well. 
and the most recent stable release will be at the top of the fork list. Now it's important to point out, if you want to run more than one Kodi fork, you can do that, but they will be past versions. So I'm going to hit download for the most recent stable Kodi fork, install. I'm going to hit done for this as well, delete and delete. Okay, back to the home screen. Okay, before opening either of those applications, I want to go into settings. apps see all apps i want to go into cody permissions files and media and i want to choose allow management of all files this will prevent any problems with installing add-ons or builds in the future allow back button and now i'm going to go into the Troy Point Cody fork and do the same thing. Permissions, files and media, allow management of all files, allow. And you will find the same settings on the newer Fire TV devices. Go to settings, applications, manage installed applications. Go into Cody, permissions, files and media and you want to choose allow management of all files. Back button a few times, go back, and then we're gonna do the same with the Troy Point Cody Fork. Files and media, allow management of all files. Now, if you don't see these settings on your Android TV, Google TV, or Fire TV device, that means you're using an older system, no big deal. Leave as is, and it will work the way it should. Okay, I'm back to my on 4K Pro. Back button a few times, get out of this. Go back to the home screen. And now you're gonna see these two applications are available right here. Okay, first I'm going to launch the official Kodi application. Make sure that this is running properly. Everything is good there. And now the Troy Point Kodi fork. And that has launched the way it should as well. And then to show you that we are indeed running 21.1 Kodi, we can go into system information here. And you're going to see there at the bottom, it says build 21.1. There's absolutely no difference from the Troy Point Kodi fork as compared to the official Kodi app. Only difference you're going to see are the various Troy Point logos within this Kodi fork. So there you go, guys. That is how you can install multiple instances of Kodi on the same Android TV, Google TV, or Fire TV device. Now that you have these up and running, don't forget to get my free Supercharged Kodi guide that will show you how to install the most popular Kodi add-ons and builds. And it is updated on a regular basis, so you're getting the latest and greatest. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you're notified when I drop new tutorials or videos like this in the future. And as always, thank you very much for following Troy Point. Have an awesome day.